Well, guys, this one's gonna sting. This one's gonna hurt a little bit because it hurt the day that I woke up and I found out from people and found out from experts. You're not normal. You're never gonna be. You're different and you're always gonna be different. So I decided, what am I gonna do about that? And as a chef, I found my way and I found my niche. I'm gonna be making some recipes that are gluten-free and casein-free. And you're gonna find about that, out about that in this episode. What does gluten-free, casein-free, or GFCF actually mean? So you know what? Brace yourself, guys. And for all you autism moms out there, it's time to watch me cook. I know some of you are going to watch this and expect a happy-go-lucky cooking show. But before I get into the food, this is the part where I have to get real. Because I'll tell you right now, Autism and I, we're not the best of friends. In fact, we're the worst of enemies. My story with autism is this. I don't embrace it. I don't celebrate it. I fight it every freaking day of my life. I have one goal in my mind when it comes to autism. It's not to embrace it. It's not to enjoy it. It's not to celebrate it. It's to conquer it and defeat it and stomp it in the freaking ground. GFCF, gluten-free, casein-free. Now some people think I'm about to open up a big can of worms. And some people think that I'm going to be doing something that will put people on the right path. It has been discovered that uh, children and adults with autism have troubles digesting gluten and casein. And what this does is when they digest it, it actually releases something called opiates into their bloodstream and causes them to go into head fog, causes them to be able to not to be able to focus. The same thing is when they eat casein. Casein is a protein in dairy. This is the protein that actually coagulates when rennet is added to dairy and helps make cheese. So you guys are probably thinking about this and saying, Chef, say it so we can understand it. Here's the best way to understand it. A kid on the autism spectrum can get high from eating a cheeseburger. Pretty self-explanatory. You're probably thinking, whoa, yeah. So we're going to make some dishes that don't have gluten in them and don't have casein in them and uh, we're going to get it done. But first things first. It's time to cook GFCF. It's time to cook for people with autism and what better place to go to get my ingredients than going to the co-op. My wife and I are here. We're headed to Davis, California right now. There's my wife there, my beautiful wife, Nora. We're headed over to Davis because when you're cooking GFCF, you have to have gluten-free. You have to have casein-free, which means no dairy, but you have to watch it sometimes because some of the soy cheeses that you see, you're thinking, oh, I'll get this soy cheese and it's fine. You have to check the labels. You have to check to see if it has casein in it, and some of them do, so you really can't use them. You also have to check if you want to buy hot dogs for your kids because hot dogs have casein in because the meat that they use to make the hot dogs, when they put them in the casings, they tenderize the meat by using powdered milk. And it's in the recipe because I have made hot dogs before. So we're going to the co-op. We're gonna get some great ingredients. We're gonna get gluten-free. We're gonna get organic. We're gonna get everything we need to make an awesome, awesome meal.
Now it wouldn't be a trip to the co-op unless we stopped and got us something cold, refreshing, and good to drink. As always, we're gonna make our pit stop to Dutch Brothers. All right, we're here at the co-op and we're getting ready to go in. We're gonna buy the ingredients that we need for this uh, autism meal. And on the menu today, we're gonna do some mini tacos with some heirloom tomato pico de gallo. Every, all the vegetables are gonna be organic. And also I'm gonna do a macaroni and cheese burger with grass-fed beef, some gluten and dairy-free cheese. Use nothing with any dairy in it. And this is gonna be a special treat for anybody, you know, this isn't something necessarily is going to be a regular thing every day, but something somebody can have as a treat once in a while. And then after that, I'm going to do a broccoli beef stir fry using some coconut aminos. We're going to cook everything in cast iron and steel pans. No aluminum, no Teflon, because the first thing I do as a chef, my first priority is always to keep people safe. So let's go shopping. Okay guys, we're back from the store. I'm back here in my kitchen. We're getting ready. I'm gonna get ready to cook some stuff. Let me show you what I got. All right guys, everything you see here is organic and it's gluten free. I got all my organic vegetables. I got avocados, couldn't get limes, so I got lemons. I got ginger and garlic for the stir fry. I got avocados. I have two different types of onion. I've got broccoli. I got organic cilantro. I have raw organic cashews soaking in water. They're getting nice and soft. And I got some organic vegetable stock in a blender. I'm gonna put the cashews in there, get them nice and creamy. Part of that's gonna go for the cheese sauce, and part of that's gonna go for the avocado cashew crema, which is gonna be great. Um, organic tapioca starch to thicken stuff. I got some uh, gluten-free pasta. I think I'm going to omit the pasta because I just want to do a cheese sauce for the burger. And I'll put a slice of heirloom and I have some organic mixed greens. I also got some tamari. Um, you can use coconut aminos if you don't want to use soy, but this is gluten-free soy sauce. I'm going to use this as well. I'm going to make this very autism friendly. And guys, I'm going to let you know right now, this stuff didn't come cheap. Um, this was an investment, but you know what? So is your kids' health. So really think about that. What would you rather do? Invest in them in a gluten-free, casein-free diet or invest in them every time they have a meltdown? Think about it. Hardships. Imagine waking up every day and people, other kids telling you, you're weird, you're a dork. You're not normal. And going home every day as a little kid in tears. Imagine getting bullied by teachers who are supposed to be there to protect you, but instead they ridicule you. Even by your own family members who think you just have your head in the clouds and they want you to just pull your head out of your ass. Yeah. So do I celebrate this? Hell no. Was I celebrating this when my first grade teacher never picked me to be student of the week because I was a weirdo and none of the kids wanted to vote me that way? No, I wasn't celebrating. Was I celebrating when my third grade teacher backhanded my glasses off my face? No, and then got away with it scot-free. 
was I celebrating my diversity and my differences when my fifth grade teacher took me down to the principal's office and stuffed me in the school health room with the equivalent size of a prison cell <coughs> and left me there all day long. Was I celebrating then? No, I wasn't. It was hard. Whole life's been hard. I have fought, scratched, and clawed for everything I have. And I'll tell you what, that fifth grade teacher, as an adult man, <coughs> I tracked her down for one reason, but I found out she died. I tracked her down for one reason, I wanted to forgive her and I wanted to thank her. You wanna know why? Because if it wasn't for people like her, I would not be the teacher that I am right now. I remember what it's like to be excluded because you're different. To not be invited along because you're different. To not get to go and do the things the rest of the class did because you're different. That's not the kind of teacher I am. In my kitchen and in my class, nobody, and I mean nobody, gets turned away. All right, first things first, let's do our proteins. And I've got 
this ready to go, so I'm going to use some salt and some black pepper. Okay, I got those mixed up a little bit here. I'm also going to get this stuff with some salt. Black pepper, well, black pepper and some salt. I'm also going to open this. This is our free soy sauce. It's geared towards family with autism, but I'm actually going to be asking you to finish it. From Christina Russell, if I can share this with the yoga wrestling sharing, because we will be eating yoga and very free. So I'm going to add some soy sauce to that. Guys, meat is marinating. It's getting ready to go. I got the burgers over there. I'm bringing them up to room temp so they can cook all the way through. Now it's time to make this cashew cream, and let's get to it. All right, guys, we're gonna do this cashew cream. I'm gonna take these cashews here and soak them for a few hours, nice and creamy. I wanna put them in the blender. Part of them for the cheese sauce for the burger. Like I said, I'm gonna open the pasta. I'm gonna use the cheese sauce. We've got the bread on there. We've got enough carb as it is. We all need to watch our carbs. So we get all these cashews in there. I'm gonna blend them. We're gonna get this nice creamy sauce. I'm gonna take part of this. I'm gonna add some cornstarch to it. I'm gonna take part of it. I'm gonna add mashed avocados and my other part of my other lemon. Hey guys, now for the next step for this avocado cashew crema and for my cashew cheese sauce. Here we go. Okay, here I'm pouring part of my cashew crema into my cast iron pan because I want to make that cashew cream sauce and make a nice creamy cheese sauce for the burgers. Time to make this cashew cream. Okay, I've got my uh, cashew cream here. I'm gonna make my cheese sauce. My Daya smoked Gouda, I'm gonna grate it. Got a good amount there, we're gonna mix it with the cashews. I made the cashews kind of thick. Turns out I don't need the tapioca starch after all. This is actually gonna come up quite nicely. I'm taking 
take it to organic avocados. That's right, I said organic. No pesticides, no herbicides. Like I said, um, I'm doing this for my autism family too, also. Remember, I didn't use milk, I used vegetable stock. And I'm going to add maybe a little bit of white wine vinegar because I want to make sure that my avocados don't oxidize. So let's add that here. A little white wine vinegar. Pop that right there. Uh, yeah, it's working. Just need to fit it out a little bit. Actually, no, I don't. This actually looks pretty good. All right, enough playing around. Let's get this done. Knees for the broccoli beef stir fry or broccoli beef and onion stir fry. Done. Let's make salsa. No, I don't embrace autism, and I've said that before. But what I do embrace, embrace is helping to treat it and to beat it. And I discovered that as a chef when I discovered about autism, about the GFCF diet. Gluten-free, casein-free. And you know what? Fortunately, all I have to do is take some digestive enzymes and I can digest gluten and casein fine. Fortunate for me. Other people don't have that luxury, so I have learned as a chef and I have learned how to do these dishes so I can help people on the autism spectrum because I personally believe that those of us who are higher functioning need to help the other ones who aren't. And that's the part of autism that I embrace, the conquering and defeating of it. Let's cook. I didn't make mini tacos, but I got a grass-fed, organic grass-fed steak taco with onions, with heirloom pico de gallo and avocado cashew crema done. Broccoli beef stir, broccoli onion and beef stir fry, grass-fed beef, everything all organic, everything gluten and casein free, done. And take a look at that burger. Organic 80-20 mix grass-fed beef cashew cheese sauce, mixed greens, and heirloom tomato. Done. Now this is the part where I would tell all those experts that told me when I was a kid, 
You can't do it, Tom. You can't make it. You can't get it done. You're just gonna be okay. Did you see what I just did? This is the part where I'd like to say screw you, but I'd rather just say order up. See ya. Hey guys, Chef Tom here, and thank you again for watching me cook today. And I hope you got something out of it. If you're an autism parent or you're a self-advocate for autism like me, I hope you got some great recipes out of it. I hope you want to try one of these dishes when you get home. But I want you to remember something. You are somebody who can do great things in life. You are special. And when people try to bring you down and experts try to tell you you can't do something, you say, watch me. If somebody says, you can't do that job, you say, watch me. Watch me grow. Watch me excel. Watch me prove you wrong. Or in my case, with all the experts that told me I was wrong, guess what? If you're watching this and you're one of the experts that told me that, guess what? I just, you just watched me make you incompetent. So, I thank you very much for watching me cook today. Go cook. Get out of here. See you next time.